Hey everyone, in this video I am going to show you the easiest way to make motion clips like these using the 12.2 model locally on your computer or on cloud with RunPod. 12.2 is the latest and most powerful upgrade in open source video generation models. This new version introduces some serious breakthroughs from cinematic level aesthetics and controllable lighting to complex motion generation. And it can even run efficiently on consumer GPUs like the 4090. Whether you want to run it locally or deploy it on RunPod for cloud-powered rendering, I got you covered. Before we jump into the setup, let me quickly go over the three model versions included in the WAN 2.2 release. The first two with the 14 billion parameters are quite large and typically require a high-end GPU, like a 4090, 5090, or better. On the other hand, the third on with the 5 billion parameters is much lighter and optimized for consumer-grade GPU. I will be using that one, but feel free to choose a different version depending on your hardware. This model supports both text to video and image to video generations, which is perfect for all needs. Let's start with the local installation. First, make sure you have Comfy UI up and running. If you haven't installed it yet, head over to the official GitHub page and grab the ready to use 7-zip version. It's the easiest way to get started. I also recommend installing the Comfy UI manager to make things simpler. I've already created a tutorial for that, which you can find linked in the description. If you already have Comfy UI installed, go to its main folder, open the update folder, and run the update underscore Comfy UI script. This will update your Comfy UI to the latest version, which is important for setting up 1.2.2. Once that's done, launch Comfy UI and click on Browse Templates in the top left corner. From there, you can choose between the two 14 billion parameter models or the lighter 5 billion one. I strongly recommend starting with the 5 billion parameters version to experiment. Then if your GPU is running fine, you could move on to the larger ones. From here, download all the necessary files. Once that's done, place them in the correct folders by following the guide on the left. After everything is in place, refresh Comfy UI to apply the changes. Now, you should be able to select the downloaded models and generate videos locally on your computer without any issues. And that's it for the local setup. Now, let's move on to the cloud installation, which is actually much easier. I have created a custom RunPod template that sets everything up with just one click. You will find the link in the description. Also, by using my referral link for the first time, you receive a random RunPod credit between $5 and $500, so definitely check it out. Once your account is ready, head over to the storage section and create a new network volume with at least 35 gigabytes of space. Be sure to pick a fast data center near your location. After setting that up, use my RunPod template to deploy a pod. I highly recommend choosing a 4090 or 5090 GPU. I have tested both and they offer great performance for the cost. Keep in mind that the first time you launch the template, it may take a bit longer as it downloads all the necessary files for the WAN 2.2 model. I have also pre-installed Jupyter and N8N in the template, so you can easily experiment with automations or other workflows right out of the box. Once the installation is complete, you will be able to access Comfy UI N8N and Jupyter directly from your browser. Let's start with Comfy UI. Open it and navigate to the Workflows section. You will find the 1.2.2 workflow already loaded. Simply select it, drop in an image, and hit the Run button to generate your video. It's that easy. Next, go back to your RunPod dashboard and click on the N8N link. It will redirect you to your running N8N instance. Sign up with your details to get started. To connect Comfy UI with this N8N instance, go to the settings, then to community nodes, and search for the Comfy UI image to video node.
After it's installed, drag the image to video node onto the canvas and save the workflow. Then, go back to ComfyUI, export the one to point to workflow as an API, and copy the entire JSON content. Return to N8N, open the image to video node, and paste the JSON into the workflow field. Now you need to add an image. The simplest way is to convert it to Base64 using any online tool and paste it into the input field. Keep in mind, this is just an example. In real automation setups, you'd handle image encoding dynamically within the workflow. Once you are ready, click Run. Then switch back to ComfyUI, and you'll see your request is being processed. You can also check Jupyter to confirm that the input image was correctly passed to the input folder, meaning Everything is working as expected. And that's it. You're all set to start experimenting with WAN 2.2, both locally and in the cloud. If this video helped you, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more AI tutorials and automation tips. You will find all the important links, including the RunPod template, Base64 tools, and my previous Comfy UI setup guide, down in the description. If you have any questions or want to share your results, drop a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.